Hey friends, so today I'm doing something a little bit new. I have maybe done two organization videos, actually maybe three previously. I think I've organized my towel drawer for my kitchen towels. I did a makeup drawer cleanup and today I'm gonna actually do an organization of my hair products. Actually, I have three shelves I want to organize today. The top shelf, which is a place where I put extra products. You can see I have zero room to put anything. So I want to organize these three shelves. This one I have some nail stuff. This one is mostly all of my hair products, just all shoved in there and I can't find anything. And then this one up here is like candles and overflow hair products. So my goal today is take all of this out and then go through it, throw away what I don't use or don't love and reorganize it back so that I can find everything in a much easier way. So I'm hoping maybe this will inspire you to clean out your bathroom closet and um, you can come along the ride with me if you like organization videos. Here goes, I am going to take everything off this top shelf and empty it out on the counter. Okay, so I'm back. Every time I clear out a shelf, I am going to spray it down and clean it. I always love cleaning with this stuff. This is Method All Purpose Cleaner. And I have probably like 30 microfiber cloths that I keep and I use these to clean everything with. So I'm going to spray down with this Method. By the way, Method you can find in the US at Target. I love their spray cleaners. They're wonderful and they're natural and they smell awesome. Okay, so I know this video is not about this, but I just want to brag on this one too. This is the Method Wood for Good Squirt and Mop Wood Floor Cleaner. Y'all, this smells amazing. I cleaned my house yesterday. It just makes your house smell so wonderful and it does a great job cleaning your floors and it's real easy. So anyways, I'm a big fan of Method. The other thing, I always use the Method Hand Soap. They're very reasonably priced and they're all good. And I also use the Method Detergent and Fabric Softener for all of my laundry. So I'm a fan of Method because of how clean they are and not having bad chemicals in them. All right, so I'm gonna just spray this top down. All right, one shelf down. Now I'd like to take us back over to my counter and we can go through the things on my counter. Here's all the things that I just pulled out of the top cabinet here. So what we need first is a trash can. <laughs> Let me get a bag to throw some things away. So I'm gonna do two piles. I'm gonna say the right pile I wanna keep, the left pile I don't love and I wanna get rid of. I think most of this stuff I will probably keep. Hand soap, absolutely keep. There's still some candle left in here, but not much. So I'll keep that. A random candle topper, don't need. So I'm gonna keep that on the left. This is an old Christmas candle. Honestly, I don't think I wanna throw away any candles because of the weather going on. Candles are always good to have, so I'm gonna keep this. I just got this not that long ago. This is a face mask refreshing spray, so I want that. I definitely want that. This is an old bath soap that's been used. Do not need that. Keep, lotion keep, new products keep, a shampoo that is there's not much left to get rid of just because i have it by the way and it's full doesn't mean i want to keep it this is one of those it's like a it's a body moisturizer actually i actually need this i'm gonna put this in my shower right now what i'm saying is just because you have something that has product in it doesn't mean necessarily you should keep it if you're not going to use it brand new candle Got that from Walmart, eucalyptus and sage, definitely keeping that. Now here's where we get to where we've got all of these little hotel bath soaps. Do I think these are worth saving? Probably not the shampoo and conditioners, but the body washes, I will save those. And little Avita cleansing bars that I got at a hotel, I definitely will save those because I like the Avita brand. Any of these little soaps are good to have to clean off makeup brushes and such. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these kind of things that I'm saving in a Ziploc bag. 
You never know when you're gonna run out of something and if you can just grab a quick little bar to hold you over until you get some is a good idea, as long as it's organized. A little tiny bag, I don't know what it goes to. I'm gonna get rid of that. Deodorant order for my husband, we'll keep that. And I've got some hair wax, we'll keep that. And a face mask, I'll keep that. All right, so the only thing I think I wanna put back up there, I think I wanna take these candle things and put these downstairs in my other bathroom because I've got a lot of room down there. And I'm gonna make sure to only keep my beauty supplies in this closet. So I'll be taking down these things. This is a candle holder here. So I'll be taking these downstairs. So I'm gonna start organizing things in here by type. So we've got lotions over here. We've got hair color here, hair products there, face here. All right, my husband can never find his stuff. So he's got some like beard wax here. I'm gonna keep him a pile as well so that we can put all of his stuff in one place. Honestly, I don't want to put anything back yet until I get all three cleaned out. So I'm going to leave this little pile going on. All right, we are on the second shelf now. So I'm going to empty this thing out. goodness so this is a lot I'm almost ashamed of how many products I have and because there are so many here I think what I'm gonna do is just take a look at each one and if there's anything that's empty like this is pretty much empty I'm gonna do a quick picking through and figure out if there's any empties all right so I think I've gotten rid of all the empties now I'm gonna look at the products like this I don't like this I don't like how this feels on my hair so I'm gonna just now, of course, if you had someone to give it to, that's also great. All right, so I don't wanna organize quite yet until I clean off this third shelf. And the third shelf is a lot of my old nail stuff that is pretty old. My mom and I have been investing in some new nail polishes that are the gel nails. So what I'm gonna do is probably throw away most of the nail polishes in here. So I think I'm gonna just take a trash bag and get rid of most of this stuff behind me. Our good collection is at her house. I find that there's a lot of things that take up a lot of room. Like these are some nail files. Yep, there's an entire box that goes along with it. I don't need that. It's all about paring down and only keeping what you really need. This is some cream. I was getting to a point where I was running out of space and just shoving things in here, which is not the best idea. Oh look, it's some lavender essential oil sitting in here. Found some more like face masks and deep conditioners for your hair. So basically I kept the stuff that I want to keep in a bag like this. All right. So we are now down to some nail stuff that I do wanna keep, but I've gotta think about the best place for it. I don't do my nails here very often. I usually do them at my mom's house. She's right next door. I'm gonna keep them on the very, very top shelf. What you wanna do is the hard to reach places should only be stuff that you use very seldom. So I'm gonna move these up there. I'm gonna take my little nail bag and put this back up here. Okay. So now are the most accessible cabinet. I'm trying to decide. My hair products may be down here and then the lotions and such right here. So let's see. This will fit either place. I'm trying to decide which one will be easier for me. Eye length or down below? I think I'm gonna keep my hair products down here. Then I can see down below and things won't get totally hidden. So I've got a couple things. I've got lotions and I've got sunscreen and bug spray type of things. Put my sunscreen back there. There's really no right or wrong way to do this, by the way. It just is whatever works best for you and however you organize things. So I'm gonna put my sprays down here, hair sprays. Deodorant can go up here. Bug sprays, more hair sprays. All right, body wash sunscreen. Now what I really wanted to do is put all of my like hair putties in front on this bottom shelf right here. So like right here, you can't really see down in there, can you? 
So the bottom shelf will have all of these little putties and such. I'm putting my husband's things over on the left here. As you know, men don't usually have a lot of beauty things, but we still have, you know, stuffers, beard, deodorants, lotions, body washes, that type of thing. All right, we've got some styling gel, which I think I'll put the gels at the back there. Another gel. I don't know why I'm keeping the gel. I never use gel. But I like to have gel around just in case I want to do like a pixie cut style where you need gel to do it, like the finger waves. So that's why I hang on to that. There's things in here that I didn't even know I had. Like I have an iconic London face spray and that's like setting your makeup. So this is one of the benefits of cleaning out your cupboard in that you're going to find stuff that you're like, oh, I forgot I had this. And then you can start using it. I think the fun part of organizing is when you actually get to put stuff away and put it back the way you want to. All right, so I'm down to my piles of masks here. We're gonna have face masks, which will go up here. And then we have like hair masks. I'm gonna put these on my hair shelf. By the way, I think I've mentioned this before, but I actually designed my house that, that we had built. It's been almost two and a half years now. And I actually designed this bathroom and thought that a little corner cabinet like this would be wonderful because I put my makeup on at my sink area. It is actually very handy to have a shelf like this. And I like that it's a little corner shelf like this. So I'm really liking how this shelf is shaping up because you can see all of my nice little products down here. All of my little hair putties are down here and they're very easy to see. If you are going through your lotions, one thing that does go bad are lotions. I mean, everything will eventually go bad, but you should just open the lid and smell. Like I can smell this lotion. This is actually a renewal cream. It's turned, it doesn't smell good. So as you're going through your stuff, Smell your products to make sure that they don't smell kind of funky. If they do smell funky, throw them away. All right, and I'm almost down to the very last few things. I've got some little razor refills. I'm gonna keep those up on this general shelf. I feel like I need a little container maybe to put those in. Let me see if I can find something. Okay, so I raided my laundry room and I have a set of these little containers that help you organize. And I have some little ones, so I think I'm gonna use one of these. I don't even remember where I got these. My husband ordered them on Amazon, I think. So anyways, I'm gonna just use one of these little ones to keep my razor refills in. I'm gonna do something very similar. I'm gonna do something very similar with the nail polishes that I am keeping, which is just a few bottles. So we'll keep them in this little container. Let's see, we are down to a few last things. I am so excited. It's gonna be wonderful when I come in here tomorrow to get ready for the day and I'm gonna be able to just easily choose what product I want. I highly encourage you to do something like this. Honestly, I try to do something like this once a weekend somewhere in my house, whether it's emptying out a drawer, cleaning it out, refolding, getting rid of stuff. Every drawer in this house feels like a junk drawer and every cabinet over a few years time and we just moved into our house only like I said less than three years ago and I'm having to go through and reorganize things so I just encourage you to get back out there into your house organize some things don't try to do too much at one time just do one cabinet or one drawer at a time and you will get there and it'll improve your life so thanks for coming along with me on this little organizational task I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you feel a little inspired to do some reorganization in your own house and I hope you have a wonderful week. Thanks for joining me. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, I'd love to have you and I'll see you next time. Bye!